Hey, hi folks. Uh, guess what they have here? I just purchased the cap pack or capacitor pack. Its name is uh, Ripple Killer. Um, it's capable of 8S. I don't know exactly what's uh, the measurements. I mean the the rating or the capacity inside. I haven't opened it yet, but but firstly, I'll just have to review this one. So it just arrived earlier. Um, shout out to Mr. Philip Jolie, who sells this stuff online. It's really good. He's proven it in his speedruns. He could reach around 160 miles an hour. So there's more than 260 kilometers an hour. I don't know exactly, but 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 this is it. I mean, this should help with uh, with eliminating eliminating the delays. Uh, with a throttling or a throttle uh, should also eliminate the ripples or let's say the the bad currents that damages the battery so well that's it and what comes with this one are just two stickers a ripple killer you can put it on the on the body of your car so from the previous videos I had um, this one I made my own capacitor pack, so there are like 20 small capacitors in here, sandwiched by two circuit boards, and it's capable of, let's say, 6S or 4S, I'm not sure, I haven't tested it, because I've learned recently that uh, my soldering are just too thin. And they could easily burn, and thus it might cause a short circuit and my system might burn and all gone, maybe. So I'm not really planning to use it on my Limitless. Maybe I'll be using it on my uh, other RCs. So, yeah, by the way, this one weighs around, I have here a weighing scale that's in grams, it's around... 86 grams there, yeah. 86. So this capsa capacitor here, and this uh, ripple killer capacitor pack um, weighs around oh the same 86 also, 86 grams, uh, 86, 87 or like 85, somewhere around 85 to 87. So it's not really uh, yeah it's a bit heavy but. It shouldn't really like affect the weight of the car and its performance. You know my batteries are much heavier at 470 grams I think. It's half kilo almost and they really matter. I'm really planning buying good I mean a lighter the lighter ones. The ones that don't have a um, hard case. Okay so how am I gonna attach it? So capacitor pack basically just connect it uh, I'll connect the red, I mean the, the positive to the positive pole here. Sorry, positive to positive and negative to negative. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to solder the both ends as close as possible to the ESC, but not like exceeding um, less than a meter. I don't know, I mean a centimeter. So maybe I'll just put it like one inch away. Yeah, that's good enough. So I'm gonna solder it there and just maybe, um, let's say, put it somewhere here. Might be better. Usually they, yeah, the Velcro or let's say they, they tie it with cable tie here. But we'll see. Okay, it should affect the performance. Well. So we'll see here if it's really true that. The, the capacitor pack uh, eliminates the delays in throttling. So I'm gonna turn this on. Uh, by the way, I'm using 4S. So I'm gonna turn this on. So there's four beeps there. That means it's 4S. So. So without the. Sorry, something is like. Something noisy. Okay, so without the uh, without the capacitor connected, you can check the delays here.
There's a bit of delay. So this may maybe yeah, it's a matter of zero point um zero point zero zero one seconds or just and one one tenth of seconds. Check after I put the capacitor pack there and see if this uh, will be able to eliminate that delay. So um, it's easy, uh, you just got a few nick here. I mean, yeah, just a small nick. Uh, in my case, I'm using a scalpel, you know. Um, these wires are really soft, so if you like you touch a wire and it will get cut, so you just have a small opening don't uh, cut the total I mean the circumference of the wire don't cut it totally because it's gonna damage your, your support there so that's why a small nick here and at the end of the capacitor you just solder that one in place there and same with the other one so solder them there and that will do the trick and you're good to go. Okay, uh, it's finally soldered in place. Sorry, it's kind of messy. You know, I know um, I'm bad at soldering, but the thing is that it sticks there. Look, and this one. So basically I have this cup pack connected now to the ESC. Positive to positive, negative to negative. Okay, that's it. So I'll try it now. So um, the batteries are now, I mean the the capacitor packs are now connected, just a second there, just let me take off these uh, protective tapes just to protect my uh, extra wires while soldering these parts here. So now that they're taken off, um, so never forget to wrap your the parts that you soldered. In this case I wrapped with a uh, insulating tape or let's say electrical tapes. So what scared me there when, when I was connecting the uh, the power lines from the ESC to the battery, it really sparked really big. I don't know, it really scared me though, but we're okay now. So it's connected, so it should be the charging this capacitor now. So I'll give it a try. Four beeps is for us. There's no delay, so indeed, uh, let me the delay. Small basic thing. We should let motor and EC go down in between the runs. So I've had my first one and the second one. There's like cooldown, like three minutes or five minutes cooldown in between. And then turn off the ESC because the fans are spinning. I'll buy this is in the top pack here. It's the ETS cap pack. So 